so how the results of the dice models uh, influence the, the political di dimension how the normative action has uh, uh, changed because of uh, that results well you all know the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Agreement the first one has been signed it in uh, uh, by US in 1998 under the Clinton administration, but then the following administration didn't ratify it. For the Paris Agreement, it has been both signed and ratified, but then the Trump, uh, Trump ad administration pulled it out. Oh, really, he, he didn't pull it out, he couldn't have to it, so he tweeted to, to pull it out. It's somehow uh, some of deja vu, in particular, uh, the Trump administration didn't doesn't believe in climate change. He thinks is a hoax made by Chinese in order to to make uh, US non non competitive. And the the whole point is that uh, uh, we do not have all the same expectation of climate change. There are those uh, that are more alarmist and perhaps do not consider the cost of the mitigation uh, of climate change. And those uh, are the opposite that the deny, the deny the climate change, or at least they deny the, uh, the fact that uh, it's humans to induce uh, climate change. So really the... the, the scope uh, of the uh, of the scientific community is to make climate change more uh, uh, to make uh, understand climate change better and so to make these two people be able to speak each other giving evidence of what is the real uh, cost of both climate change and uh, and the mitigation on a uh, more detail, the Kyoto Protocol uh, has been adopted in 1997, but uh, uh, because of the Doha uh, Amendment, it is still the one that covers today emissions up to 2020. So the emissions into the, the target of emissions in 2020 still uh, are part of the Kyoto Protocol and only the emissions in 2030 will be uh, covered by the uh, subsequent uh, uh, Paris Agreement. And what is uh, uh, the key part of the Kyoto Protocol the and the key criticism is that the only countries to have uh, uh, obligations of uh, carbon emission reductions are those in the so-called Annex 1 protocol, that is Annex 1, that is the developed countries. And this uh, is a big criticism because uh, in the meantime, the structure of production of the world has deeply changed and uh, uh, heavy industries have moved from, uh, for example, from uh, from Europe and in particular from East Europe that uh, uh, had uh, the biggest uh, the industrializations to uh, into uh, emerging countries, in particular in China. So they observed the reduction of emissions in uh, to in 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 Europe is not due to the Kyoto Protocol, but due to other trends that were uh, uh, happening at the same times. And uh, if you account for the decreasing uh, CO2 emission in Europe, but the increasing CO2 emission in the developing, developing countries, we see that uh, the net emissions are uh, has been positive. So the Kyoto Protocol has been largely ineffective to uh, to cover uh, uh, mitigation policy for, for the world. Uh, in the Kyoto Protocol, there has been also some uh, mechanism specific to allow to buy and transfer credits to uh, developing countries, but in general, these credits, uh, this mechanism has been uh, uh, very limited and uh, very uh, little uh, uh, used uh, through the Kyoto Protocol. In uh, 2015, the Paris uh, Agreement uh, supersedes the Kyoto Protocol, although, again, uh, the, the, the first uh, uh, target of emissions reduction for the Paris Agreement are in 2030. 
the, redu the reduction in 2020 still belong to the Kyoto Protocol. And the objective of the Paris Agreement, uh, the overall objective is an uh, uh, increase of temperature that doesn't go over the two uh, degrees and uh, oh, and uh, with an uh, um, effort to limit it to 1.5 degrees. As uh, this has been requested by the small island, uh, uh, small tropical island, because even for them, even a 2% average increase of temperature would be uh, catastrophic. It is structurally different than Paris Agreement in the sense that here the approach is much more bottom-up <coughs> compared with, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, the Paris Agreement. Uh, each country can uh, pursue its own, uh, what is called its own nationally determined contributions. So it uh, um, it pledged to some objective of uh, re re reductions, and but these objectives are not be binding. Uh, what is really binding is the reporting and control process. Uh, so uh, if a country doesn't uh, uh, maintain their obligations, it will be not. It will not be fine, but what he cannot do is he cannot hide, he cannot make some reports that he obtained the, the, the results while he didn't do because is the process of reporting, uh, reporting that is uh, uh, mandatory to be transparent so that each all the other countries can see what really is the situation in, in, the, in, the, in the other countries. And uh, these nationally determined contributions are uh, reviewed every fine five years. So while the current one of the first round may not be sufficient to obtain the target result of two degrees, still this target could be attained by the fact that uh, these nationally determined contributions can be uh, uh, improved in uh, uh, subsequent uh, uh, rounds of uh, negotiations. And uh, this uh, uh, approach is, while it's not binding, is uh, uh, at least more flexible. And uh, this is uh, uh, expressed by the very heterogeneity that we have in the different uh, 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 contribution that has been offered. For example, for the EU, uh, the EU uh, pledged to reduce the emissions of 40% in 2040 compared to 1990. Just to make a comparison, for the Kyoto Protocol, uh, it was a target reduction of 20% in 2020 and with respect to the same, uh, uh, same uh, baseline. Uh, for the EU, the land use and uh, uh, land use uh, uh, change and the forestry it is included in this uh, in this uh, overall reduction. So this reduction is made uh, uh, reducing fossil fuels, but also in, pro for example, increasing uh, increasing forest. While uh, uh, for China, the engagement has been uh, both to peak the emission of fossil fuels, but also the land use and the land use change and forest as a separate objective in terms of uh, afforestation. So maybe, perhaps, uh, at least for, for me, the China uh, uh, nationally determined contribution is more transparent because we'll see that these two things, reducing fossil fuels and afforestation, are not really the same things and cannot be easily uh, com compared. So setting two different objectives and engage the country over these two separate objectives is somehow somehow more transparent than just giving one obje single objective and then include everything inside of that. There is a, uh, the Kyoto Protocol uh, Clean Development uh, Mechanism under uh, uh, the Paris Agreement is expanded and uh, uh, the transfer is no longer limited to developing countries but can uh, happen also uh, between uh, developed countries. And uh, uh, another aspect, perhaps one of the most important one, is that uh, 
they developed account cards, engaged themselves to found a fund of 100 billion of dollars per year developed to uh, uh, developing countries for uh, both adaptations and attenuation uh, uh, project and this, this is as you may expect something that has been demanded uh, pretty strongly by developing uh, uh, countries as they treat clim- the problem of climate change in a context where they say we are not those that made uh created the problem but there we are those that support most of uh, the consequence of climate change and so this one the in part for uh, uh compensate this effect has been uh, created uh, this this fund but it's not only the fund another important aspect is the transfer of the green technologies that has been uh, uh promised uh, toward uh, uh developing uh, countries the in while the the united nations framework of convention for climate change uh, k- remain the uh, the place where the politics uh, agreement uh, political agreement is uh, is uh, is uh, is um, is um, maintained the scientific control of the paris agreement is given to the epcc and uh, one other aspect if you read the agreement is come out of that the word removal is uh, very frequently used across the whole agreement and this highlight the, uh, the 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 fact that uh, uh, the acknowledgement that uh, in order to achieve uh, uh, this maximum two degrees increase in temperature not to speak about 1.5 degrees it is not possible to achieve this with only reduction i- in the emissions but something has to be done also to remove the uh, carbon dioxide from uh, from the atmosphere and the one place uh, uh, of, of one sector that uh, uh, will uh, um, will sh- be able to to do this is the uh, the forest uh, uh, sector and uh, as uh, the reporting and control process is those that is uh, uh, juridically binding and and transparent so much will have to be the uh, reporting of the carbon stock in the forest uh, in the forest sector so doing this reporting countries will not be free to use the parameters they want for example to account how much carbon there is in the soil or in the roots of the forest but the whole process of uh, accounting and reporting of carbon stocks in the forest must be uh, uh, made through a procedure that is homogeneous across the world and and the transparent to the other parties finally uh, the uh, withdrawal from the agreement is possible after uh, uh, three years from entering into force and uh, in particular for the us well even if trump made the announce of withdrawal this is not possible till uh, this date this is the first date for us that uh, they can uh, leave uh, the paris agreement if they will really want to do such how do individual countries or europe uh, uh, as aggregate of countries will implement the uh, engagement they take for uh, uh, the paris agreement well no one mandate the paris agreement doesn't say how they should do that so each country is free to choose the policies that best achieve uh, the, the 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 results and uh, we saw that one of the best uh, uh, strategies is to impose a tax a similar uh, approach is uh, used uh, when you implement an emission trading trading system it has uh, broadly speaking tax and uh, cap and control system <coughs> are uh, may have the same uh, efficiency outcomes but uh, uh, the 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 tax uh, uh, 
you need to know everything about your system to have an efficient uh, taxation. If you uh, go wrong with uh, with uh, something like the production uh, functions or the cost uh, abatement cost of uh, your uh, your firms, you may set a tax <coughs> that is. Uh, is not efficient or it doesn't obtain the outcomes that you would expect so you may obtain uh, some uh, uh, a reduction of emissions that is not those that you wanted well when you, you use a cap and control system you're sure to obtain uh, what you wanted although the 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 way may not be uh, efficient uh, uh emission trading system has the good of the both sides so as a tax it is efficient because it is a permit that is exchangeable so that uh, this guarantee that the emissions are uh, uh, reduced uh, uh, in the place where it is uh, cheaper to do such and on the other sides being a cap and and and, and control systems it it is a uh, guarantee that you obtain uh, the level uh, of uh, reduction that you set. So at the end, the uh, emission trading system is a cap and the trade system so, uh, that control the, the carbon uh, emissions. And here the, you allocate a limited number of uh, uh, permits to, uh, to emit uh, CO2. And uh, you need uh, companies of the sectors involved need uh, to own uh, these permits in order to uh, to make uh, their uh, emissions. Uh, so, as I said earlier, the the reduction. Um, of emission is done uh, in an efficient way where the lower cost to the society are uh, at, the, at the lower cost of the society uh, and uh, in, in particular emission price uh, is equal to the marginal abatement the emission uh, the price of the emission uh, permissions is equal to the marginal abatement cost of uh, emitting uh, of a reducing such emissions uh, the problem here is that uh, it is uh, of it has of course some problem also this uh, these systems this system in particular is very expensive to implement and very i would say bureaucratic it costs a lot to to, to implement so uh, typically only sector that are very where emissions are very concentrated can be covered by, can be checked and and covered by these uh, uh, these systems uh, uh, things like uh, agriculture or uh, or buildings or transports that are uh, uh, not uh, uh, that are more uh, um, diffused they cannot be uh, uh, covered by uh, by this uh, uh, this agreement because uh, they cannot be checked uh, and so the sector included are responsible only for uh, half of the missions there has been uh, already two phases of these uh, uh, ATS uh, uh, systems. We are now under the third phase. The difference is that uh, uh, the allocation, the initial allocation, is no longer free, uh, and uh, the, it covers more sectors. And uh, there is a system of set aside of the allowance where the prices go too low and uh, we will see in a few next uh, uh, slide that uh, this under this third phase uh, only under this phase the price of uh, carbon reached uh, a price uh, uh, comparable with the social cost of carbon uh, another problem is that they are not uh, not yet linked with a similar system that exists in California, New Zealand, and uh, nowadays also in in China, but that they remain separate uh, systems. And uh, uh, firms can use the the for now the Kyoto uh, uh, CDM, uh, but uh, there has not 
be allowed to use it for forest project. This is one of the reasons why under the Kyoto uh, uh, protocol, the CDM uh, clean development mechanism has not been widely used. And in general, uh, forestry is, uh, is not included, uh, but it will be th after 2020 directly in the, in the, in the Paris uh, uh, SDM. Uh, for this part uh, of, of the presentation, I suggest you two uh, documentary. One is uh, perhaps a little bit more interesting and inconvenient too, although it is uh, starting to be old uh, as well. The other one before the flood, uh, but if you have time, uh, it, can be, it can be interesting.